Testing a damselfly variant. All right, it's uh, Tuesday, April 5th. We're going to give it another shot here at Kroger Park. I uh, brought the five weight again in that uh, Fishkin's uh, Eagle Claw fly rod. I've been happy with it so far. Uh, this round we're going to try testing out this uh, variant of a damselfly that we saw uh, online. And we'll see if this one works. Uh, downsized the hook. Yesterday we were using a size 10. Today we're going with a size 12. So we missed that uh, first one. And we'll go ahead and cast again. And uh, like we were saying, we uh, were using a size 10 the other day. Went with a size 12 this time. And we think uh, that made a difference. Uh, we had a lot of short strikes the other day. All right, uh, we missed that first one, but we were able to get the second one that struck on the uh, that variant of that damselfly. Cool beans. Nice looking one. So we uh, cast out again here, and we'll see if we can hook up uh, with another bass, or a correction, uh, a bluegill. We do see some bass moving in and out of the uh, area, uh, but unfortunately they... Uh, uh, don't want what we're offering. Instead, it's bluegill. All right, here's the second one. This one's bigger than the first one. Uh, All righty. All right, so uh, we keep at it, and we'll see if we can hook up with a few more of these guys. Here's a view of the damselfly variant that we were using. It's made a sparkle braid for the uh, tail. Uh, we still use foam for the body, as well as uh, a grizzly hackle to help form uh, sort of like a dry fly uh, to keep it uh, buoyant. Uh, so, uh, and, and we still do use some foam as, as part of that body, as we, we stated. And there's uh, another one of the uh, Bruiser Bluegill that uh, we landed over there at Kroger Park. And then we uh, shifted across the street, went over to the Bethany Lakes. We did try the, uh, the one pond uh, by Joe Farmer, but we decided to go ahead and go for the back pond. Really windy, and uh, we were looking for uh, uh, at least a location that uh, helped us cast. And... This one sure did. Here's another one of those bluegill. And we're going to get our last one here in a moment. We'll be bringing this one in here shortly. And like we were saying, it was very windy. But uh, we were able to put the wind to our back and get some really good cast for distance using the um, uh, five weight. All right, uh, we're going to close out this round. Over here, we'll uh, end it at uh, Bethany Lakes at the back pond. Uh, a lot of wind today, but a uh, good thing was uh, being able to cast for distance. With that wind behind you, you can definitely uh, take the... Uh, uh, Take the fly to the backing. Cool stuff. Alright, so next time we'll catch y'all later. Good luck and good fishing.